I just made the best guacamole I've ever made in my life for 4th of July. And man, was it good. And I want to show you guys how to make it. So let's get started, you guys. All right, guys. So we're going to start with four avocados here. And what I like to do is just dice them up and slice them using cross pattern. And it's just a lot easier to go ahead and put these avocados in that bowl. And yeah, four avocados will do for this recipe here. I'm telling you, it's bomb. So let's go ahead and just chop all these things up. And what I do is I just cross pattern them and I just squeeze them out with my other hand. And I can literally chop and cut these avocados in like a minute. <laughs> it's so quick. Yeah, so it's 4th of July. And one of my favorite things to make is avocado. So I went to my backyard. I have lemons, limes, oranges. I'm Mexican. What can I say? I got everything in the backyard, you know, just growing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up four lemons. I only end up using three of them. So I'm going to chop up two jalapenos because I like spicy guacamole and you really can't have guacamole without jalapenos you need to have that kick in there so go ahead and just dice these things up dice them up real fine uh it doesn't have to be super fine but don't leave like huge chunks because then it kind of just ruins it so go ahead and just dump it in there and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab i'm gonna go ahead and grab an onion and i like to do like a cross cut and it's easier for me to peel. I'm just going to use one onion. And I don't end up using all of the onion because once I chopped it up, I realized that it's going to be a little bit too much onion. And that's pretty gross in a guacamole when you taste a lot of onion. You just want to have that right ratio, you know, from like onion to tomato to jalapeno to obviously the avocado. So it's got to be right. And for the onion, I strongly recommend that you chop it up as fine as you possibly can it tastes much better that way you can't even really feel like the onions there so i'm gonna get two tomatoes here and chop these up i kind of wish i would have drained these a little bit after i chopped them because it kind of made the guacamole a little bit watery but nonetheless it was still really good that's the only thing i would do differently i usually use roma tomatoes which are less juicier this time my wife brought me these from trader joe's they're still very delicious. They gave it a great flavor. They were like organic tomatoes or whatever. Still tastes the same, <laughs> honestly. But um, yeah, so I went ahead and put the tomato in there. And like I said, go ahead and add all of it. And then at this point, what you want to do is start getting your lemons, start squeezing them all in there. And one thing that you must do whenever you're cooking, especially making guacamole, is you have to try it as you're going okay so you gotta squeeze it she's <laughs> yeah so make sure you have like a taste tester like your wife your girlfriend your son your daughter whoever your mom your dad just have somebody taste it along with yourself and see if it needs more lemon if it needs more salt this is something i always do so i'm go ahead and bring out that salt like i said and we're gonna go ahead and just add some salt, taste it. If it needs more, add some more. And just start mixing this bad boy, you know? Um, honestly, I made this thing. It took me about 15 minutes to make from chopping it to uh, mixing it to adding everything to it to tasting it to making it ready to serve. And one thing you guys should notice that I did not do in this video, but once it's all done, put saran wrap. But make sure when you put the saran wrap that you put it pressed against the avocado i mean the guacamole because that'll keep it fresh if you want to put it in the fridge okay that's a huge tip that's my mama's tip you better use it or it's going to turn brown all right so just mix it up let's go ahead and my wife she stuck her she stuck her little chip in there she's tasting it she's telling me more salt so i can add a little bit more salt boom ba -ba boom let's add some more salt in this thing all right so it's almost ready to go um just keep mixing it and honestly the video doesn't even do the justice of how delicious this thing was. You know, we tore it up. There was nothing left at the end. So here it is, all completed. Mmm, that's so good. 